What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What is poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda, and today I'm gonna share with you guys my poppin' wash and go routine. So since I've cut my hair, I have been playing in a lot of products, and I finally have found the perfect combination to really give me super nice, defined, fluffy curls and keep that wet look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I went from basic to straight baddie, then keep watching this video. So I'm gonna start out by using one of my favorite co-washes. It is by Kenra, and it has no sulfates, no parabens, and no sodium chloride, and I absolutely love the way it leaves my curls feeling super moisturized and defined, and they have so much bounce. I really use like 50 pumps of this product because I feel like when you go to pump it out, you only get like a little drop of the product, and I do like my hair to be fully saturated. So I do use a lot of product, and I'm just going through and finger detangling it, just making sure that I get this product on every single strand of my hair and I'm gonna let this sit while I wash my body. On average, I only shampoo my hair about twice a month. I try to stay away from shampoos just because I like to keep as much moisture in my curls as possible and I feel like shampooing it more often than that is really just not necessary because a lot of the products that I use can just be rinsed out and I can do a co-wash. So I wanted to show you guys how beautiful my curls look when I rinse this co-wash out. There's so much definition, they're so soft, and I love this product and the fact that it is a professional product makes me love it even more because I definitely can just tell the difference. So here I'm gonna show you guys how I go through and define my curls. My hair is damp, but I did sit for a little bit and kind of um, just let it dry a little bit on its own so you guys can kind of see um, my texture coming in there. Ooh, my face was so dry. I said, wait a minute, let me pause for a second and lotion myself up because I look crazy. And yeah, now I'm cute again. <laughs> Oh, hey girl, you cute. Yes, I see you. The first product that I'm gonna be using is this Joyco Body Lux. I can't even pronounce the rest of the stuff on the bottle, so I'm just gonna tell you. It is a volumizing cream, and I use this to really just create volume because I like my curls to be extremely full looking, um, just to get that kind of like bang type of look that I'm going for. So I take this, and I really try to focus it on the roots of my hair and pull it all the way through the ends. I use probably like a quarter size amount, um, and I do do really see a difference when I start started using this so I absolutely love this product So the second product that I'm going in and using is Auntie Jackie's Curl Boss, and this is a curling gel. And I am very heavy with this product. I love it. I actually love a lot of Auntie Jackie's Curl Defining Gels, um, but this one and the Don't Shrink are my two favorites. And then I'm gonna go in with my Paul Mitchell Styling Brush, and I'm gonna be using this to help define my curls. It's very similar to a Denman brush. So yeah, I'm gonna use that to basically comb all the product through my hair. Like I said, I'm very heavy handed with this product, so I do use a considerable amount on my hair um, for a couple of reasons, just being that um, the more that I use, I notice that there's more definition and I can really achieve that wet look, which is what I absolutely love. So yes, I do kind of pack that product on. So here I'm combing from the ends to the root and I'm really just watching my curls define. And this is like one of my favorite parts because I don't know why it's just so satisfying to brush this product through my hair and just see my curls form it has really been a journey for me getting to like healthy hair so and definitely getting to like this shape of my hair I tried to find like a lot of YouTube videos with people who had a similar cut and I really couldn't so I'm excited to kind of share my journey with you guys because oh my god like even just me finding a barber who can really like just create the vision for what I had was very hard. So I'm super excited to um, share my hair journey and just this routine with you guys in general. So I'm going to be repeating this um, around my entire head basically and I'm combing everything down and there is a reason that I do that because I noticed that when I comb the hair in a direction that I want it to lay, I don't get as much fullness. So I'm combing everything down and I'm gonna kind of shape it at the end into how I want it to sit. So at this moment, I realize that I'm going to be looking crazy, but I promise that getting to that finished result, you'll be like, okay, I, I get it.
my god how mad would y'all be if i cut it off right here and was like okay this is the finished look i look crazy but um <laughs> this is just so funny for me to look at so i literally always do this so it's so funny whenever people come over because they're like wait what like what are you doing but i promise guys there is a method to this madness so I'm gonna take my hands and basically start pulling all my hair to the center and when I do it this way, like this is how I've gotten my hair to be the most full and to sit in the exact shape that I want it to sit in is just by kind of like pulling those pieces up and shaping it. And right now my hair is still pretty wet from the gel. So before I like do any finishing touches to it, I kind of just have to do this and let it sit. Um, but you guys can see that even in the back it's getting into that shape that I really, really want. So I kind of just play around with it until I get the hair pretty much sitting how I want it to be sitting. There's a couple of pieces in the front that are hecka long and that are hanging down and actually my hair never really does that so I don't know why it did that today. Um, but yeah, next I'm going to take good old fashioned blue magic and I'm only taking a very small amount of this because it is really greasy and I'm going to use this to oil down um, the sides of my head and really just brush that into place. I don't use any type of gel or anything on the sides of my hair. I kind of just brush those down with a little bit of grease um, so that it gives it a nice little shine and it'll be matching the top of my head and I'm gonna brush that down um, all the way. Guys, even just learning that I had to actually brush my hair down when I first got it cut, my, my fiance was like, you need to brush your hair and I'm like, okay, yeah, you're right. So this is definitely one of those things where um, doing this is really gonna set that look off, especially if you have shaved sides. So yes, I'm just brushing everything down into place. So the next step is pretty much just to let my hair dry and the only step that I did not show on camera is that once my hair is about 90% dry I do take a comb and kind of fluff up especially that front bang part because you guys can see that everything is nice flat and defined and when my hair is dry I'm able to kind of tease it into the exact shape that I want because like I told you guys I like my hair to be extremely full and so I really only do that at the root otherwise like you can let it dry like this but this is really flat for me and so I like a more fluffed out look so you guys can see here that I have taken my comb and I have really defined like really define my curls in these clips so that's why it looks a lot thicker and a lot fuller but you guys can see that even with my hair 90% dry I still have a really nice wet look and that's why I absolutely love these products I am slaying guys this was actually my look that was created for my birthday and I took a lot of bomb photos so I hope you guys got a chance to see those if you're not already make sure you guys follow me on Instagram all my handles are in the bottom right corner as always, make sure you guys share this video, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys can be a part of Dope Nation. And I will catch you guys in my next video. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean?